My name is Joe Bowden. I'm a writer, director, filmmaker, and also a former uh, space camp applicant, 1996. It's an animal and that it uses a unique way of attracting a mate. Hey, yo, Kibble, I have some excitement. Being a writer and being a director are, are very, very different because when you're a writer, you are, you're doing everything by yourself and there's no one critiquing you or looking over your shoulder. Uh, whereas being a director, you have to try to find a way to um, get all these individual artists to collaborate and um, be inspired to do so. And you know that's that's where leadership comes in, and that that's a really it was a tough learning curve for me. You know, coming from the music world, I played you know drums. I was always just trying to follow whoever the leader was, and uh, and do my job there. I really learned a lot playing music with Jared Mees because he was so good at inspiring me to want to be a part of the band and uh, he would somehow find a way to either inspire us and make this feel like we were having the time of our lives or find a way to scrape together enough money to pay us something. Finding a community. So for me, this was, was really difficult. Coming from the music world and going into the film world, they're so, the cultures are so different. And I didn't know a ton of people doing film. So when I first started out, I kind of just jumped on, you know, whatever project was around or people were working on stuff. And, you know, I just wanted to write and um, basically would just help out on whatever. And slowly I was able to build a community of people that I could make my films with. On this last Rio Grande's video, there was a night where we had to do an all nighter. Um, we were shooting at a bar that we had we turned into a tiki bar and basically it was a we had to wait till after they closed to shoot and we have all these extras there because the bar is supposed to be packed full of people we've got the band there we've got the crew which is you know an eight person crew nine person crew something like that and it's all just like working and everything is just humming along and that night, without even seeing any of the footage come back, was the single most creatively satisfying moment of my life. When things are going like that, I feel like completely unencumbered. And I feel like uh, just the most free, as cheesy and dumb as that sounds, um, and I hope to write a sketch making fun of this later, but... <laughs> The most satisfying thing um, outside of that feeling is when you're able to make something as good or better than it was on the page. But yeah, that is when you, when you could find a joke or some, some piece of it that just is better, better than you would have imagined, um, that is just extremely satisfying.